suddenly dawns on you, do I know the next verse? And that came to light to me uh, a couple of decades ago. I got a new Bible, and it's always fun to get a a new Bible. And I was opening it up, uh, and the preacher was talking about um, Ephesians uh, 2, chapter 2, verse 8, for it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, not of yourself. It's a gift of God, not by work, so that no one can boast. A great verse. And I'm just ba- basking there. Oh, I, it's not by works. Uh, I don't, uh, and it's, it's grace, and it's just a lovely, wonderful thing. And then he read the next verse, which is, of course, for we are God's handiwork created to do work. And so it's a little mind-blowing to see those two verses juxtaposed right next to each other. So between those two ideas that we all have these scripture verses surrounding us and this idea that um, that two verses almost seem to contradict. So in my new Bible, in the very back page, I opened it up to the white, and I just wrote down Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. And I wrote down the words, the next verse. And that was two decades ago, and I've been collecting next verses ever since then. And uh, finally, uh, after writing 30-some books for family and parenting and marriage, I said, i got to write this book, and that's how that came about. And it's been a, a blast to talk about. It was a, a, a joy to write and in a, a journey of discovery for me, and I hope for uh, and I and for thousands of people now. What a what a blast that is. Well, you know, one of the things we we all want to study the Bible better, and most of us are not going to study. You know, we're not going to get a degree in Greek, you know, or Hebrew. We're not we're, we're oh, not yeah. going to uh, go that deep. But this is a pretty accessible way, isn't it, for us to understand those favorite scriptures, just dig into where it's at. Well, I, I am not a, a theologian. I am not a pastor. I am <laughs> I'm, I'm just a beggar who found bread, t- telling other beggars where to find bread. I found some things that work for me. You know what? And that might be the great lesson uh, of the new year as folks are, 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 are trying to read the Bible, you know, get more into scripture. That yeah, you're gonna you're gonna come across a verse that's like, I oh, man, I don't get that. It's a little confusing, or or maybe it sounds too easy. But if you keep reading, you know, keep reading the next verse. It's gonna uh, it might surprise you. It might seem to contradict what you just read. It might make you laugh um, because God, God, He's not a God of our Creator. He's not a God of confusion. He's a God of clarity and reason. And if you keep reading, if you keep reading the next verse. Both, both uh, literally in your in your Bible and read my book, the next verse, which would be great, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, keep, keep reading; it'll 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 be clear. It'll be clear. God wants you to understand. 